Hi there, good afternoon. My name is Baba Tando and I bring you the latest in the world of sports. Now, let's get talking right here, right now. And as we already know, Liberty professionals midfielder Latif Blessing has emerged as the best player for the 2015-2016 Ghana Premier League season. And this was announced at the Premier League Awards held at the Banquet Hall of the State House last Friday. Now, um, I'm sure you've seen bits and pieces of what happened on Friday, but uh, we've put together this report for you from the Joy Sports Desk uh, as to everything that happened on Friday night during the Ghana Premier League Awards Gala. Latif Blessing of Liberty Professionals has been crowned the most valuable player of the 2015-2016 Ghana Premier League, beating Dreams FC captain Abdul Bashiru and free kick expert Kwesi Donsu to the coveted award. It was a perfect night for Latif Blessing, who also took home the Goal King Award after scoring 17 goals last season. Richard Ofori, who won the Best Goalkeeper Award, is hoping to make Ghana's squad for next year's Africa Cup of Nations in Gabon. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get a call up again. Of course, because every young player's dream is to play for a senior national team and then now I'm there. I'm with the senior national team. So what I'll what I pray is that uh, anytime I'll, I'll get an opportunity, I can perform and then I can prove myself. So what I'm praying for is that uh, health. Health is very, very important. Hustle folks, Inu Samusa was given the best defender award and the talented centre-back was happy to beat Kotoko's Emos Rimpo to the prestigious award. Yeah, I can, I can say this Emos Rimpo because of he uh, scored a lot of goals in the league. Even a striker cannot score that kind of goals. So I think it's Emerson Fumpong who give me of this. And if I like, I want to think, and then I said, oh, maybe Emerson Fumpong will take it. But after all, then God has given me the victory. Abdul Ali Duhudu, who plays for Inter Allies, won the Most Promising Player Award. But the ingenious midfielder is targeting the most valuable player accolade next season. Uh, for next season, maybe by the best player of the season. For next season. You, you want to rush us in um, Latif Blessing? Yes, of course. And the of Wild Stars won the best coach award. The promising coach says the award will motivate him to work harder. That's an, it's rather in, it's supposed to, 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 to add something to my career to enhance the performance next season. Yeah, because now it's going to be a challenging level in the sense that I came from nowhere. A position or, or, or being the, the, the coach of the year that I think I could have gotten to this stage for 20 years. I've just gotten to this stage for just within six years. It's a plus. So it tells me I have to go to the higher or the next level so that I can achieve more glories and also taking a good decision in terms of coaching, right? Yeah. So it's. Another challenging uh, level that I have put myself in place and it is going to push me also to push myself more and learn more to, to, to get to the top. They have this, the target or the vision of every local coach that if you are in your country and you are coaching and getting to such level, that means a little higher or a little work done also will also get you somewhere as you want to coach in the national, coach your national team. Yeah. So it is... A, as I've said, it's going to enhance my performance and my learning as well, and I have to fought, fight very, very well also to get to that level. <laughs> Ojo Nyakon of Wild All Stars beat James Esufi and Albert Komi to the Best Chief Executive Officer Award. I'm elated, I'm highly elated, you know, for winning this award. And uh, it's going to serve as a moral booster for myself and for the team, because apart from my award, we also had the best coach award we had the best goalkeeper and we had the club of the season these are challenges it, it throws a big challenge to us you know to maintain the status quo um we'll be the synergy of all eyes every club that's going to play against against one star will get the alliance you know for a, a tough battle and therefore if we relent in our training if we relent in our efforts we'll be over, overrun by events i think that uh, we will have to stand in a good stead you know, to face the challenge that these awards uh, have given us. Tamale-based Awa Mohammed was given the referee of the season award, while our stars were adjudged team of the season, and Brekum Chelsea took home the Fair Play Award.
All right, so that was uh, just what happened. A summary of what happened at the State House, the Bank Hotel of the State House last Friday. Now, um, two more current issues. And Bundesliga Ambassador Austin J.J. Okocha and some high-ranking officials of the German top flight league, the Bundesliga, are currently in Ghana to promote the German league on the continent as well as its official broadcaster, Start Times, as the official broadcaster of the Ghana Premier League as well. Now, as part of the Ghana Premier League broadcast rights agreement with Star Times, the Bundesliga officials and ambassador visited the GFA, that's the Ghana Football Association's premises, earlier today, seeking to enhance the relationship between the Bundesliga and the Ghana Premier League. Now, in our subsequent sports bulletins, we'll be telling you how this is going to benefit the Ghana Premier League and, indeed, Ghana football as a whole. And also, we'll seek to find out if this is what we need as a footballing nation or as a footballing powerhouse uh, but you can find answers to all of these questions and more on the sports page of myjoyonline.com alternatively we're tweeting live on twitter via the handle joy sports gh on facebook you can find us on the address joy sports my personal twitter handle is at barbatando that's your sport for now good afternoon <laughs>